Hello guys, if you are just uh, popping on, it is Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors. I am just hoping you can hear me okay. Let me know as you pop on if you can hear and see okay. I'm just... I'm just messing around here. I'm actually in my PJs, so I'm not showing my face <laughs> tonight. But I wanted to work on a few designs for paint nights on Tuesday nights on my page um, on Facebook, where I do paint nights with you guys every Tuesday, because I'm kind of uh, like backed up on that. I need to get some designs underway. So um, Jess says, yes. Okay, great. Thanks, Jess. I'm glad that you can see and hear me. Okay. Jess, I'm glad you're on. I'm so glad that you are here. Jess is one of our vendors for the Hello Spring online arts and crafts show, um, which is going to be held in a private Facebook group. If you guys want in on that, just let me know and I'll make that happen for you. Um, you can actually go to the group right now and request to get in there if you want. Um, if you can't find it, just go ahead and let me know. And after the video here, I will get you in there. If you want to uh, check out some arts and crafts, the show starts on the 24th of, um, I was going to say next month, but tomorrow is next month. So um, just doing a, uh, me too. I'm doing dishes at the same time. Oh, awesome, Jess. I don't feel so bad then. All right. So she's in her PJs too. I'm going to take a drink of my water. And then I just started these like little mini paintings on some multimedia paper. My goal is to put some uh, pretty uh, spring flowers on here. So we'll see how that goes. I think I want to get like either like a pink or like a corally color. Oh, thank you for being patient while I took a drink of my water. Man, I guess I was thirsty. Yes, I was thirsty. So if you guys uh, don't know me yet, I'm Amy from amyparkerart.com and founder of Creative Warriors, which is my membership program that I created for all of you artists out there who want to uh, have their own online art business like I do. All right, so I'm just looking at my paints. I got a bunch of paints right here. I know you can't see them. I don't want to move the camera and kind of uh, mess that up. Um, but I'm trying to see what I can actually, this thing. You guys have trouble with your acrylic tube paints, like sometimes hardening up. I think I have to stick something in there, like a paper clip, maybe to unlodge that. So we're not going to do not going to use that right now. I've got so many paints. I think I'm getting like um, system overload. I feel like I'm in the grocery store and I'm just, there's too many things to look at. So I am having a hard time choosing. Just trying to find the right colors I want to use here for my um, flowers. All right. I'm going to start procrastinating and just start mixing up some paint colors. Uh, that palette's kind of dirty. Let's try this one. All right, so I am an acrylic painter. I use all different types of acrylic paints. I use just cheap Apple Barrel from Walmart. Um, all this stuff is just like my preference stuff that I like to use. I also, if I'm doing more fancy stuff, I'll use my tube paints. Sometimes I'll mix them, uh, you know, combine them in my, my creations, depending on what I want to do. Okay, so I, how am I going to make this? I'm going to make this corally color. Let me see. I'm just going to mess around here and see. I'm using some red, some crimson red. And no, if you pop on, especially Marcy, because I know you've been waiting for some new designs for Tuesday. Um, I actually created a couple today. And right now I'm just working on some more, like flowers, because I, no, you mentioned flowers and like landscapes and trees. And that's great because that stuff is right up my alley. What I like to do. 
Um, just using a little like clear medium here. I got to order some more of this stuff. This floating medium is awesome. I love it. And it is difficult to find sometimes. All right. So maybe I want to put, hmm, I think I want to make like a little like peach kind of color and then mix that in. There. I'm just, I think out loud a lot. Okay. Oh, let me determine what brushes I need to use here. Uh, this one might be too big. I don't know. This is my my uh, half inch flat. These ones are my, my smaller. Actually, no, I'm going to move this over here. I know. Sorry. I'm having some squirrely moments right now. I'm just trying to figure out the... Uh, pretty color for these flowers. Let's see if I like that peach kind of color. I mean, I think that looks good. That looks pretty, right? You guys like that? Uh, hi, Amy. Paint Booger's Clog My Paint. I love that one. Me too. Me too, Lisa Marie. Me too, girl. So, hey, I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right, let me pull up my photo here. I'm just kind of using like a reference photo, but going back and forth. I'm trying to, I can't actually see your comments up here on my phone where I'm recording from. So I'm looking over here on my laptop and trying to check out my, um, check out my uh, reference photo there. So I don't know, I'm just messing around you guys. I just mixed a little bit of red, some yellow, a little bit of white together, just trying to get some uh, color down here. We'll see what happens. I wanna put like a few, a few flowers in here for springtime. Hey, did you guys have a nice day today? I hope you did. Hope you had a nice day and I hope it was beautiful where you live. Today was amazing here in New Hampshire. It was pretty darn warm for us. It was, I think, 43. I wanted to take a walk, but when I looked down the road, it was pretty, um, kind of looked like a lake. <laughs> so I didn't want to walk in that. So I just kind of walked around my house. I try and get some exercise every day. You know, being artists, right? We got to get out behind, from behind the easel and work out a little bit once in a while. 68, Lisa Marie, I am jealous. And of course, my sister, one of my sisters, she lives in Georgia and she's a little brat. She sends me screenshots of her, of her, um, weather every day and it was like 85 there today i'm like oh hey thanks a lot for rubbing that in my face <laughs> then i sent her a little video of all the snow that was still in our backyard she's like oh my gosh why isn't that melting i'm like yeah i don't know it's not warm enough yet all right so i'm just kind of going back and forth with my half inch brush here, mixed up some peach paint. I mean, I'm not going to get too um, involved in like giving you the step by step. Now we can just talk and hang out because, you know, I will be doing that on Tuesday night once I pick what we are going to do for paint night. I don't know if all these <clears throat> peach ones are going to blend a little too much or what, because I'd like to make a bigger one right in the middle, but we will see. We will see. Do, 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 do. So what great fun things happened to you all today? Let me know. Uh, the, the greatest thing that I did today was my daughter and I, well, we had family dinner and Tim cooks because he always does. Thank God. Nobody wants me to cook, let me tell you. That would be a bad move. <laughs> but we had family dinner. He made baked macaroni and cheese. It was awesome. And then my daughter and I played shuffleboard on our kitchen table with 
a water bottle cap. <laughs> it was awesome. We had tons of fun. So if you want something fun to do, literally all I did, you guys, was I took some tape and I put three lines on her side of the table and three lines on my side of the table. And then we just flicked. Well, it didn't really flick it because it would have gone off the table. We just kind of like pushed it, <clears throat> pushed the bottle cap, <clears throat> like, you know, like a shuffleboard. And um, <clears throat> we had a lot of fun. It was a blast. It was fun. All right. I need to have something inside for the center of this flower. I need to find something to mix up with that. I think I'm going to use like a brown and a black maybe. I know that sounds a little weird, but hey, you guys, go ahead and paint the love for me. You know what that means? Paint the love, paint the love. And uh, I would really appreciate it, especially if you know anybody that loves to paint with acrylics and just wants to hang out tonight. I don't know how long I'll be on. Like I said, I'm seriously in my PJs. So um, <laughs> I'm just having a chill, relax in, paint a little bit tonight, night. Just using a little burnt umber. Well, I might as well throw in a little bit of like this nutmeg color too, just in case I need that. And maybe a little black. Who knows? I never know how it's going to come out. You guys know, right? When you're creating your paintings, sometimes you love them. Sometimes you're like, eh, I don't know. My sister does that to me all the time. She's also going to be a vendor in the craft show. She likes to paint too. And she's, she's very good at painting, but she always gets like bummed out. Like, Oh, I don't like this. She'll send it to me and it will look gorgeous. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> If you don't like it, do not fret because somebody else will like it, right? I mean, well, I've been painting long enough to know. Don't throw out your paintings. If you want to <clears throat> paint over them, yeah, okay, I get it because I've painted over many paintings in the past. But um, I've also, like, donated some... Hello, Beth. So my sister's here. I was just talking about you, Beth, and telling everybody how you made me jealous today, sending me your screenshot of your warm weather. But hey, that's what sisters are for, right? I'm just going to mix some umber and black together and uh, just see what that looks like. I like it. We need something dark on here to make these uh, flowers pop. To make the flowers pop. And I'm going to have to define those petals a little bit more too, but I'm just messing around. And everyone will come out a little different, right? Kind of doing wet on wet here. I do have my blow dryer too, but I don't feel like turning that on and blasting you guys out. Some of these might get covered up. I don't know. We'll see. And hopefully Kirby, my cat, does not jump up here. Sometimes I paint on the easel and have the uh, camera facing that. But like I said, I'm just kind of chilling, relaxing. I don't feel like changing. So I figured I would just... Eh, pop on like this. You guys don't mind, right? And I'm just mixing up some more of that peach color. Put a little bit of white in there so it doesn't look too orangey. But hey, blue and orange looks pretty darn good together anyway. I love that color. And that picked up a little bit of the brown, but that looks kind of cool like that. I'm just messing around, you guys. Just hanging out. Hanging out with you. Just, just did our dishes. I did dishes today, too. And Beth was telling me she was doing housework. So 
Hey, we, we've all had to do the same thing today, I imagine. <laughs> Yep. Do 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 do. My band actually has its first gig. We got our first gig, you guys, since we've all been quarantined. Of course, it's not for a couple more months. It's like my birthday gig because it's May. So we're really looking forward to that. We might have another like one on the DL sometime. Maybe next month or something. I don't know. It depends if it warms up enough because we will have to be playing outside on the club patios and stuff like that. But we'll see. We will see. Lisa says, yay. Oh, I know. Yay. I wish I could stream it. I, it's weird because when I have a show, like everybody's like videotaping, holding their cameras up. And I go, well, I know we're not supposed to do that on one of these platforms. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I don't know. Sometimes people, I guess, still get away with it. But, but anyway, if you live around here and want to come, it's going to be a good time. We will be... The first band opening for Wake the Lake Festival in Weir's Beach. All right. So you see what's going on here? These are all like different. They're the same painting, but they're all going to look a little bit different because, well, because they're all individual. So that's how that goes. I'll probably, I'm going to have to put like some more layers on here to kind of make that pop a little bit more. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Do I want to do that? Mm -hmm. Lisa Marie, your birthday's in May too. Mine's May 26th. What day is yours on? If you tell me we have the same birthday, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Mine's always right after Memorial Day, or right around there. Anyway, it's always the that weekend. I'm curious to know. All right, I'm gonna do some more wet on wet here. Put that middle part of the flower down. The 19th. Oh, okay. We're really close. So you're a Gemini too. One of my daughters is a Gemini also. Maybe that's why we butt heads sometimes. But hey, Geminis are very creative people. We are. Beth, are you a Gemini? God, I can't even remember. Because hers is in June. And my daughter's is in June. I can't, that is bad. What am I getting? I'm getting so old. I can't even remember if my sister is a Gemini. Okay, Lisa Marie's a Taurus. Beth, I bet you're a Gemini. Uh, no, you guys, I'm a painter, not an astrologist here. Hold on a second. I just dropped something. Oh, and the cat's got to go out, of course. Come on, Kirby. You got to go outside. Will you jump on my painting? Come on. Go. Go, go, go. Sorry about that. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. I think I'm going to put some green in here for the leaves. But this is kind of like a happy looking painting. So I want to go with like a like a brighter green color. And then I'll define those uh, petals a little bit more. So I think I'm going to do, we'll try this. I'm going to do some regular, well, this is says like Christmas green. But we'll go with that. And I'll lighten it up with some yellow. Try to find my, oh, you guys, these are too big. I do not need these. 
brushes right here are too big. Let me see. Maybe I'll use one of these. Maybe one of these. Too many choices for me to choose from. <laughs> too many choices. Well, hello, hello. When you pop on, say hi. Let me know where you're from. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors. So hello, YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube or hello, Facebook, I'm on Facebook a lot. If you want to paint with me uh, for paint nights, I do that for you guys every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. EST on my Facebook page. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of green in here just to kind of give it a little bit of color around here. I'm just winging it, you guys, just messing around, having some fun. Having some fun painting with acrylics. Looks pretty. I like that color. Looks pretty. So these, this is um, multimedia paper that I'm using. And I just have it taped down onto cardboard. So that way, That way I can move it around if I want to. And I'm just making some little springy flowers. Just trying out my stream yard because I just got this app and I seem to really like it. You guys obviously let me know if you can't see or hear okay because I, I'm going to need to know that. But I think we're good right now. And I forgot the middle of my flower right here. Put that on. Put on there. I like to have two jars of water next to me just I don't have to get up all the time to get new water. Let me know what you guys paint or create. Let me know if you paint in acrylics like me. Or if you paint and create with some other medium. For years, I also did portrait drawings and charcoal. I have a couple actually that I'm finishing up now, but I'm not taking any more orders, custom orders right now for that. But you guys know, in my collector's group anyway, i let you know when I do. But right now I'm working on a few other projects, so no more commissions at this time. But that could change. Do, 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 do. Richard and Terry. It's Terry, I bet. Is it Terry or Richard? I saw the postcards yesterday morning. The roses are so beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. You're so beautiful. I miss you. And um, thank you for saying that. That's sweet. Yeah, I like those. I did like a different, well, I shouldn't say different, my own kind of little style on those. That was fun. I can't wait for the craft show. You guys excited for the 
online craft show that my business is hosting. So we have different vendors that are going to be showing their pieces. And I will have some of my own pieces in the show too. Um, but it's going to be so fun because we're going to do some lives in there, like demonstrations and stuff. And of course, have items available for you for those that are looking for pieces. Uh, miss, you miss us too. Oh, Terry. Yes, yeah, see, I got it right, Terry. Awesome. Babe, Terry said hello. hello. Even though you didn't, but I know that you would. <laughs> Tim just said hello. Oh, man. Yes, he just, he made the best dinner tonight. It was, um, he, I wonder for how, look, I can't even stay on track here. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to pay and then try to tell you about Tim. Yeah, he made baked macaroni and cheese and it was so darn good. Oh my God. That was great. Really great. Terry is my sister-in-law and she makes good baked macaroni and cheese too. I remember we had that at your house. And, of course, I'm jealous of all you guys down south with your gorgeous weather right now. But today was not bad up here for us. It was all right. Nice day. It was 43. Lisa Marie had better weather than us, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm just doing a little bit of layering here. Trying to get the colors I like. Oh, yeah, I like that one. I didn't want so much white. I wanted it more of like a yellowy color. Do, 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 do. What a little more yellow and yellow. You guys know you can paint along with me if you want. Or just say hi, or you can ask me business questions, whatever you want. If you have an art business or you want to, you are in the right place. I am just doing the finishing touches on Creative Warriors for you. It is complete, but I'm adding some awesome extra things. And I will be opening to the public in May. But you most certainly can get on the waiting list if you want to. Let me know. Terry says, it was a nice weekend here. Lots of rain this winter. Yeah, we have, we've had a lot of rain too. But miraculously, we've still had, we still have a ton of snow. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to try this. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try it. Oh, yeah, I do like that. That's really beautiful. Yeah, that's so pretty. So I'm just putting some pink on top of my orangey flower. And it really pops out like that. I love that. See, the great thing about acrylics is it dries fast and you can go over it. You can change your mind. You can do different things. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I am liking it. Yeah, before I forget what I'm doing, I probably should go ahead with the other ones. I'm just using a round brush right here and some pink to go over my orange. And I'm just uh, kind of layering some petals in here just to see what I like. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, I like those colors together. That was good. Oh, when I'm looking over on the side at my computer, it looks like this screen's a little bit uh, fuzzy. Hopefully you guys can still see okay. Seems like it kind of wants to go like in and out sometimes. I need some more white. Do, do, do. I just dropped some white somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right there. Easy fix. Go over that after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are pretty spring colors. I have tons of paints here, you guys, but I mostly just kind of mix my own colors, really. Just using, like, ba just the basics, just the primaries. I do have to get some more paints here soon, too. Oh, where did I put? Oh, there we go. So where did I put my medium? It's clear, so hard to see. But I got it. <laughs> I hum a lot when I am painting. Hum, hum. Well, thank you guys for hanging out tonight with me. I, like I said, I won't be on too, too long. I just wanted to pop on and say hi. Not showing my face because I'm in my PJs. I'll probably go plop on the couch and take a break after. Did a lot of work for you guys today behind the scenes on the arts and crafts show for everyone that is coming to the show um, or and the vendors. If you want to be a vendor, you just let me know. It's only $10 for a vendor spot and everything is online. The show runs four days from uh, March 24th through the 27th. And you most certainly can show all of your beautiful creations. And I'm not going to make you do lives if you don't want to. If you want to, that's wonderful. You most certainly could. But that's up to you. But we do have a practice vendors group for those of you who are vendors. Yeah, you guys, it's almost survivor time. What does that mean? Well, I'm a survivor fan. I love watching survivor. And I usually watch it every night. <laughs> Elsie, wind down. You know how we have our favorite shows. Hmm, what color should I put in the middle here? I need to, like, do another couple of little details. Let me think for a moment. I think some yellow would look pretty. This is probably not an actual real flower. <laughs> Just making stuff up. Whatever it inspires me here at the moment. Trying to add a few little touches in here. Hmm. 
just putting some little dots with uh, some yellow around the center. And it just gives it a nice little, little accent. Spin this around. I cut these from my multimedia paper down into like, uh, I think these are three by fives. But I'm really loving the multimedia paper a lot. Because I have so many canvases already all over the house. <laughs> and this paper is pretty awesome. It saves me some space. I was just talking to one of my my um Creative Warriors today, actually, because I do have founding members in there right now. And um, she was telling me, oh, I want to paint more, but I just don't have any room. I'm like, well, use the multimedia paper. Like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that. I'm like, yes, do it. So the one, I wanted to get one that was like bound because um, they have those too. So I could just flip the pages. But I ended up just going with the Canton one with the thicker pages because I like how it, it kind of mimics like a canvas. It's really like nice paper. It's a little more pricey, but I like that. I mean, the other ones are fine, too, if you're just doing, like, some quick designs. But I find that, especially using, it like, acrylics, like, it buckles up a little bit sometimes. Uh, Terry says, when I first popped on, I thought it was a carrot. I see your vision now. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, it could be a carrot. A carrot flower. I'm trying to think now because in the summertime I have a garden and I'm trying to remember what color the flower, the little flowers are on carrots. I can't even remember now. White or yellow? I don't know. I'm not sure. But hey, Easter's coming up, so maybe I should be painting carrots. Carrots and little bunnies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just adding a little little bit of yellow in through the petals here. Do, 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 do. I think this is so cute and Nice and easy. I'll give you a closer look. Not sure if it's coming out clear enough, but I'm trying to show you there. And I'll probably do a few more little details and highlights in here and Just messing around, seeing what I like. But I am going to pop off and I'll finish this later. 
Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Terry, that you are so sweet. And tomorrow night I have band practice, so I'm pro I'm not going to be on live tomorrow night uh, because I'll be singing with the band. But I will be back on Tuesday on Amy Parker Art on Facebook on my business page because we are going to be painting a step by step, and we'll probably be doing um, some sort of flower floral uh, painting. So thank you, Lisa Marie. Thank you, Terry, Beth, Jess. Um, thank you all for hanging out. And um, I'd show my face, but I'm getting ready to go flop on the couch. So I will see you definitely Tuesday. Okie dokie.